John Money was a psychologist whose two main fields of study were sexual identity and biology of gender. He earned his PhD from Harvard in 1952 and then became a professor at Johns Hopkins University, where he was involved in the Sexual Behaviors Unit, which ran sexual reassignment studies. Money is credited with coining the term gender identity and gender role. He also believed that a child's gender identity is fluid up until a certain age. As the validity of his research was called into question, he became very controversial in his later years, especially with the case of David Reimer. Dr. John Money, originally from New Zealand, was a pioneer in the astonishing new field of sex change surgery. Dr. Money, it's still a pretty drastic procedure, isn't it? Well, it's a drastic procedure by, procedure by your standards and mine, but for the people who are living in desperation, uh, perhaps the best way to understand it is that it seems no more drastic to them than circumcision. Dr. Money developed many ideas on gender and sex differences. He believed the term gender was broader than the words male and female. Not only did it include your sexual status as a man or a woman, it included your personal recognition of your gender, social assignment, and legal determination. Dr. Money was the first to coin the terms gender role and gender identity. He defined gender role as the public manifestation of one's gender identity, such as the things that one says and does that gives people a basis for determining whether they are male, female, or fit neither of those categories. Gender identity is one's own categorization of one's individuality as male, female, or ambivalent as determined through self-awareness. Dr. Money also created the concept of love map, which aims to explain why people like what they enjoy sexually and erotically. Money found the nature-nurture debate to be an ancient, pre-biblical idea. He suggested the concept of body-mind as a way to move beyond the biological versus the social. Money's research on the results of gender reassignment surgery included evaluation of the effects of factors such as stigmatization, announced sex of the individual, cosmetically accurate appearance of the genitalia, and family behavioral pathology. According to those who follow Money's beliefs, in cases of gender reassignment surgeries, gender must be assigned immediately, decisively, and irreversibly. He believed this would foster proper development into the chosen gender identity. However, critics note that this also forces a child into a gender they may not be happy with. While working at Johns Hopkins Sexual Behaviors Unit, Dr. Money developed his theories on gender identity formation. His controversial ideas ultimately drew huge criticism from the scientific community. He believed that a child's gender identity is fluid for the first two years of life. He also believed the child's upbringing, or nurture, determined its gender identity. This was concluded after his extensive research with intersex individuals. This is where the case of David Reimer comes in. He's brilliant. I think John is a brilliant man. I think he's one of the handful of most brilliant people I've ever met. Together, they helped form one of the most famous theories in the history of modern psychology, that a boy, any boy, could be raised as a girl. But the experiment went terribly wrong. I was told I was a girl. I, I, I didn't like dressing like a girl. I didn't like behaving like a girl. I didn't like acting like a girl. I'm not a professor or anything, but you, you, know, you don't wake up one morning deciding that you're a boy or a girl. You just know. Money's most controversial case was that of David Reimer. Two identical twin boys, Bruce and Brian Reimer, were supposed to get routine circumcisions, but it went terribly awry. The cauterizing tool used in the circumcision malfunctioned and ended with Bruce's penis being cut off. The boy's parents were unsure of what to do. They ended up taking the boy to John Money after seeing him on television. And Dr. Money was on there, and he was very charismatic. He was very, he seemed very highly intelligent and very confident of what he was saying. John Money performed sexual reassignment surgery on Bruce, now called Brenda. Attempts to socialize the child as a girl failed. Dr. Money's own transcripts show that as early as 1970, well before he publicized Brenda's case as a success, 
he was aware that there were problems starting to surface. I had doubts all the time because it was just so obvious to everyone, not just to me, that she was masculine. When Brando reached, reached sexual maturity, she opted to have sexual reassignment surgery to reconstruct the original male genitalia and transition back to being male. She also changed her name to David and married a woman. David gave many interviews telling of his experiences. Tragedy struck with the death of his twin brother from drug overdose, and in 2004, David committed suicide. David's death was a shocking close to one of the most extraordinary sagas in modern science. Despite the unfortunate result of the David Reimer case, Money's research was an important development in gender psychology and expanded the field of research on sexual reassignment. John Money's theories support the idea that gender is largely a product of nurture, somewhat a product of nature. His theory that a child's gender identity is fluid until age two strongly emphasizes the nurture aspect of this argument. He thought that a sex change operation in such a young child was viable because the way they were raised was more important. His legacy remains as a pioneer in gender identity. Despite the fact that the case of David Reimer soured his reputation, he did conduct many successful sex change operations for adults. He made sex change operations a more viable option for adults struggling with gender issues. In the 1950s, it was relatively unheard of to change adults' genitals to fit their gender identity. The primary method of dealing with this kind of issue was counseling, but Money's work helped change the social climate. He also encouraged greater openness in dealing with sexual issues. His legacy lives on through such organizations as the Kinsey Institute for Research in Sex, Gender, and Reproduction. The John Money Fellowship for Scholars of Sexology was established in 2002 by Dr. Money to support graduate students whose scholarly work concerns the history, politics, methodology of sexology, and sexuality studies. It makes it very exciting, don't you think, to live in an age of, of discovery of human personality this way.